Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of uh, Unique Items. Uh, we just did the episode on the Bone Flame Succubus Skull and now we're going to be doing the episode on the Dark Force Spawn Skull, uh, which uh, is just another interesting item. Now the Dark Force Spawn Skull is one of the more extreme items on this particular uh, spectrum. Uh, toward a caster type. It does have rather high variables though and uh, unfortunately can be um, rather poor in certain situations. But let's go over the item together and we'll talk about what this particular item could be good for. Um, so right off the bat you'll see that it has 417 defense which is on the higher end of this particular item. It has a 32% chance to block which is really low uh, just extremely low for this particular item. Um, if you are a character who is not planning on building any kind of max block scenario, this is probably a good thing for you. But if you are going to build some type of max block, this shield is going to make it next to impossible. Um, if we have uh, 140 to 180 percent enhanced defense on this, uh, which does vary by quite a bit, um, so we end up with uh, anywhere between 357 to um, 417 defense on this, uh, and uh, it's, it's a 40% variable. Uh, we also have other variables on this as well. So it has plus 3 to summoning skills, which varies plus 1 to plus 3. It has plus 3 to poison and bone, which again varies plus 1 to plus 3. And plus, one, uh, plus 3 to curses, which again varies plus 1 to plus 3. It has 30% faster cast, which is static, and uh, increases maximum mana by 10%, which is really awesome because it just gives you a flat bonus to your mana. As you can see, I have 710, and when I put on the shield, I go up to 754, so a nice 10% bonus, just flat added on. And, um, of course, the more mana you have, the more that it will give you. Now, the kind of the really silly thing about this is that despite the fact that Dark Force Spawn is a really nice head for necromancers the the variables on it just kind of make it not so great um it doesn't have the plus three that bone flame has but it does have plus three to each individual skill and you have to find one that actually does have plus three to all three trees if you would like plus three to all three trees now not everybody particularly cares about all three trees uh, maybe if you had plus one curses you wouldn't really specifically care um, because most of the time when it comes to curses, you get enough plus to skills on those anyway that it doesn't really matter. And, um, not really a huge downside. But, uh, but keep in mind that, um, having plus three to all skills is definitely better than not having plus three to all skills. And, um, and really this head kind of like has its competition. So Bone Flame is kind of like the in-between and, uh, Homnoculus is the highly defensive one, um, and you notice that Homnoculus has all resistances 40, very nice block chance. Uh, Bone Flame has all resistances 30. I put a P diamond in there. Um, and, uh, and it has no block chance. And then, of course, Dark Forest Spawn Skull has, uh, has none, has no block chance, basically, and no all resistances. So, uh, so very, very interesting here that they decided to go this particular route, uh, where this is the no resistance, no defense, um, high offensive skill item. Uh, because, of course, it gives you the faster cast, whereas this is the high defense, high resistance, uh, lower offense item. Um, now, if you are looking to find this particular item, uh, I could try and help you uh, with some probabilities. So let's go take a look on Silo's pen, and we'll see what kind of probabilities we have for this particular item. Uh, because this is a relatively high level item at level 65, we're going to assume that we are going to be a relatively high level character looking for it. Um, so let's look for the uh, blood, sorry, uh, sorry, dark force spawn skull, dark force spawn. Uh, we're going to assume we have 300% magic find for this because we are probably going to be a high level character anyway. And it looks like our list is relatively small with, uh, with only Frozenstein, Pindle Skin, Snap Chip Shatter, Thresh Socket, Achmel the Cursed, Bartuk the Bloody, Cleanse the Annihilator, List of the Tormentor, Ventar the Unholy, Nilathag, Doc Farron, and Sharptooth Slayer. And all of them really terrible uh, probabilities. The only ones that have anywhere near decent probabilities are these four right here. Um, so Pindle Skin might be your best bet, um, as well as Thresh Socket. Uh, let's take a look at uh, bosses. And again, a really tiny list here. So we're looking pretty much just at Hell, Bale, and Nilothag. And the uh, Defilers, of course, have terrible chances, but they always have a chance to drop everything. Uh, they're in Worldstone Keep. 
So not exactly an easy item to come by uh, already, as you can see, and also not even um, easy to come by in good shape, because more often than not, it ends up uh, with bad plus the skills, uh, which is certainly not a good thing. Um, if you found a plus one, plus one, plus one, you'd probably throw it right in the garbage. And um, it is still a relatively nice um, necromancer head, though, for uh, certain characters. I feel like it's kind of designed around the uh, poison and bones great tree, though. Like, it seems to be kind of made for the characters that are going to be spamming skills on a regular basis uh, due to the faster cast rate and the mana. Hmm. <laughs> squish. Squish, squish. Squish, squish. I'm silly, okay? I'm very silly. Um, what kind of characters could potentially utilize this? Uh, let's go over that real quickly just for fun. Um, obviously, it's a necromancer-only head, so only necromancers can utilize this. And uh, it's going to be very specifically characters that are spamming skills on a regular basis. Um, if you are, for instance, a uh, corpse explosion necromancer, you might get good use out of it for faster corpse explosions. Um, a Poison Nova Necromancer could potentially get good use out of this, so he can spam his Poison Novas. Uh, Poison Nova Necromancers also tend to cast a lot of cor Corpse Explosions, so, so Capmaster Cast can come in handy in both of those situations. Um, you can also potentially use this very well for a Bone Spear Necromancer, which of course is not bad at all. And, uh, and Bone Spirit also benefits very nicely from Faster Cast. Um, I don't really think you need it for much else. I mean, it could come in handy for teeth if you were using that. I think for PvP, it works fairly well in PvP from what I hear. Um, the curses don't really particularly need faster cast, although you could potentially use this for Decrepify, which does have a rather low duration. Um, being able to spam that a little bit faster could be helpful in certain situations. Um, as far as your uh, summons go, uh, the revives can benefit from faster cast a little bit. Uh, just simply because it takes so long to summon a full army. So having a full faster cast can definitely be a very handy there. But the problem is, is that revives cost so much mana, especially when they're capped out, um, that you can often kill your entire mana pool very quickly. So it may be uh, not such a good idea there. Um, you don't really need too much faster cast in the summoning tree. Uh, you don't really need too much faster cast in the uh, curses tree. So it really comes down to the poison and bone tree. Are you building specifically any of the poison and bone skills? Um... It could also come in handy if you were a, uh, a character who is utilizing something other than a Necromancer skill. Um, I'm not really sure what that would be right off the top of my head. Like uh, Teleport, for instance, could, be, uh, could come in handy uh, for Teleport. Uh, like if you were uh, using an Enigma, for instance, that could be useful there. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when I'm playing with heads. Don't you just love those sound effects? Right, right, right? <laughs> and as always, keep watching.